What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, V Legendary Lou. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's going on, y'all? It's the GOAT. Nah, that, nah, that's that's Goaty Mills. Oh, my fault, my fault. It's your boy, Mr. Lightwork. Lightwork for short. And today, we're going to be talking about how EA can fix the Madden ratings, okay? Now, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon so you know when my videos do drop. All right? But let's jump in. So I was watching the Pat McAfee show a couple days ago. Now, if you don't know who Pat McAfee is, he's a um, he was a punter for the Colts, and he, now he has a show that he does every day or every other day. I don't know his schedule, but he, he touched on various topics and different things like that. So the topic of his rating came up, Madden ratings, and why he didn't like them. Okay, but he did make a point. He says rookies can't be mad because – we don't know what you can do against grown men. And that's a fact. That's a fact. So if your rating is low as a rookie, then you have to accept that and move forward. And a lot of rookies did that. Like, I didn't see too many rookies that were mad about their ratings because they're rookies. You know, they, they got to prove themselves. A lot of these guys probably be out of the league in two to three years, maybe in four years. So you got to prove yourself. Okay. But he did say that the veteran players should have a problem with their ratings. And he had a problem with his rating at one point. Now, first off, let me say this. He's not a gamer. He states this, that he's not a gamer. But his friends are. And his friends will be calling him up, saying that he was trash or he sucked and different things like that. So he confronted an uh, EA person. I'm going to say EA person because he wasn't sure if the guy worked in the department with ratings or whatever but what he said to that guy got him a boost in ratings okay now he stated something in his um podcast or in the video that really stuck with me he says y'all have my throwing at 48 or 50 or something like that and he says man right now i can go outside and throw throw a ball 65 yards easy now the reason why that stuck with me is because EA likes to give ratings where there's there it's a pointless area. Prime example. Why should my linebacker or my running back have kick power? Why? Why is kick power or kick accuracy a part of their their ratings you know I, I feel like that's a pointless rating that's a pointless rating now I get every player has it but it's a pointless rating like that's why guys overalls go up and down off stupid stuff like that okay and I feel like they need to take that out and once they take that out a lot of guys ratings will be a lot better okay now I was watching another video Ryan, Ryan Moody 21. I'll put his screenshot up now. Now, Ryan Moody bashes EA a lot. I can't front you. He bashes EA a lot. You know, from the gameplay to the ratings. It's like everything. It's like everything. And then he gives praises to 2K. He gave praises to um, Doug Flutie football, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I watch his videos. He's pretty entertaining. Uh, he, make, he gives me a good chuckle. Um, but he's always talking about the things that EA can fix to make the game better. So, as I'm watching the video, he's talking about Darius Leonard and F uh, Fred Warner. So, what I did was I went to this past season and I looked at their stats. Let's check them out. So right here, we're looking at Darius Leonard and looking at Fred Warner. Darius Leonard had 121 combined tackles, 50 assisted, 49 solos, 5 sacks. Fred Warner had 118 combined uh, tackles, 28 assisted, 79 solo, 3 sacks. So in a lot of people's eyes, you probably would say, Darius Leonard is better because he has more combined tackles. 
But when you really break it down, Fred Warner has more solo tackles. But let's see how EA breaks down their ratings. Okay, so let's look at the ratings, okay? So they're pretty even across the board, except in one area, and that is awareness, okay? Now, you may say, okay, well, why Fred Warner is so far ahead of uh, Darius Leonard? I mean, I couldn't tell you that because I don't know what they measure as awareness. Do they mean where they're at on the field? Do they know where the air assignments are? How many blown assignments? Different things like that. So I could not sit here and tell you how awareness is measured. But I will tell you that the pointless ratings are like throw power, kick power, kick accuracy. Like, what does that have to do with being a linebacker? If if you understand what I'm saying, like, what does that have to do with being a linebacker? And then you have more um, unnecessary ratings other than jump. Everything else is pretty unnecessary, like run blocking, pass blocking. Or is that punt? Are they talking about punt? Um, pass rush moves. Now, pass rush moves I can understand due to the fact that they do rush the passer. Both of these guys rush the passer. Now, you see where it says, now do you see where it says PUR, PRC, MCV, C, uh, ZCV? Now, they're pretty even in those areas other than like zone coverage and different things like that. That's pertaining to defense. And I can understand that and I like that. You know, maybe they go off blown assignments, different things like that, power, strength, like all those make sense but the problem with ea is not the stats that make sense or the ratings that make sense it's the stuff that doesn't make sense like the kick accuracy kick power just because he's stronger maybe upper body wise doesn't mean that he can kick a ball further like those are the pointless ratings that piss people off because i would never put uh, fred warner at kicker or put Fred Warner or, or Darius Leonard at punter. Like, those things don't make sense. And I think that's what truly s starts to separate the overalls, are the little ratings like that. Now, a lot of times you'll see that they're the same in the same area, okay? That's try to even them out. But the problem is, it's not those type of ratings. It's the kick power. It's the you know, uh, uh, blocking for like pass blocking stuff like, like stuff like that is pointless. And I feel like EA needs to change that. Take those things out for guys. that's not going to be doing those type of things. Take it out because there's no point in my football career where I became the kicker and I was a linebacker running back and D line in college. There's no way I was going to be kicker. We had, we had enough kickers as is. I don't care if all of them got hurt. We would have found another kicker. Those are the things that can help overall. Those are the things that can make players better. Those are the type of ratings that need to be out of certain positions. Okay? That's how you fix the ratings at EA. You take those ratings out for, cer for certain um, positions. So right now, I'm going to start showing y'all reactions to their Madden 21 ratings, different players around the league that agree, disagree with their ratings, stuff like that. But it's your boy, Light Work. I am out. When you do the work, you what? You see the light. I'm gone. I love y'all. If y'all new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'll check y'all next time. We're all rating, and Madden NFL 21 is a 94 your reaction. Nice. Nah, nah. Go ahead. The stage is yours. Nice. <sighs> I wish it was better, but hey, it's better than it was last year. So, I guess we can roll with it. The Chiefs had some downstairs changing. We just got done golfing out here in Tahoe, about to jump on the water and have some fun on the boat. But first, we have to welcome him to the 99 Club.
99 chain? I just want to give a shout out to EA Sports. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, you grow up as a little kid, uh, and you see those guys get that, that 99 rating. It's a special thing, and uh, to be able to get that 99 rating, that's something I'll forever have. It's a truly special moment. Hey, it's Barry J. Sanders here. I'm a friend and college teammate, Chris McCaffrey. He thinks he's logging in to prep for a photo shoot he has tomorrow, but I'm here to surprise him. <laughs> there he is. Who's this guy? It's the only way I can catch up with you, man. I want to hear it. Not from you. What's it? What's going on? Seriously, what's it? Well, hey, man, we do have a surprise for you. And it's out the door. The hell's going on? Okay. This is so. Yep, yep. Welcome to the Bad Night Night Club, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's dope, man. That's an honor. I've been playing Madden since I was a kid, so thank you. This counts like two years in a row, man. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Your, your play will determine that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Erica, and I'm Erin's fiance, and he is part of the Madden 99 club again, and we are about to surprise him with some babies, and he has absolutely no idea. <laughs> Thank you. 